everyone, as you can see once again, it is package day. And this time we got a package from Steel Pennies. And I am just dying to see what he stuck in here. Use another homemade knife. I didn't make this one. My old man did. As you can tell, we're not at my uh, desk. I'm in my uh, dad's garage today. So. so Let's go ahead and see what we put in here. Oh, wow. He stuck a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so... Oh, cool. He put one of those... Uh, Little engravers and one of those little uh, vacuum or vacuum suction tools in here. Um, yeah, I might engrave my name on some locks with that. The Dremel kind of is a little bit harder to control. And then that would be pretty handy for picking up the small things. So I know he was giving one of those away in a giveaway. I didn't know he had a bunch more of those. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the locks. These are cool, but you know, the best stuff is always the locks. So let's go start out with uh, this bag here. Here I've got a mummied key, arrow, uh, kind of a quick set lock, but claim to fame on this one is it says Texas Gym, and I definitely have not seen this one, uh, so it will be a fun pick. Thank you. I love those Texas Gym locks. And this guy, what do we have? What do we have? This one is a PG-12. Would that be a Papa Gleb, I guess? I've never picked one of his locks, if that's the case. Uh, let me know, Steel Pennings. I, I don't know about that. Uh, works perfectly smooth. I mean, I'm just barely pushing that thing, and it's just going all the way around. So, uh... Very good job uh, aligning the pins on that one. Okay, got some more goodies. Ooh, another Den Brass. And look at, would you look at that bidding? That's a pretty nasty key bidding there, folks. And uh, Den Brass doesn't mess around. His locks are uh, pretty crazy. And I could tell by looking at the top of this one, there are six divots there, so... Uh, I'm 99.999% sure that this is a six-pinner, and that should be a pretty fun one to get into. And taking this one out here. This might be one of those Medico cam locks that he told me he was going to send. Yep, that is a, uh, that's a Medico key, folks. And it's an IBM, which that, uh, that suits me pretty good. I'm a computer nerd. And, uh, works nice and smooth. That'll be a fun one to try to get into. I've not successfully picked a Medico yet, and I'm still working on it. Uh, I got my very first one from Red Eye Locksport, and this is my second one. So, uh, that's pretty damn cool. This one's definitely going to be sitting in my collection. <laughs> Alright, moving right on along. This one says stock lock on it, and it is a Parker. That's pretty cool stock lock. I've never seen a Parker before. It's got a Yale-style keyway. Uh... Pretty nasty bidding straight out of the package. And it does work pretty smooth. So, more awesomeness right there. This guy feels like a little padlock. Ah, it's an all stainless steel Brinks. Uh, feels, looks brand spanking new. Uh, really nice bidding on that key. Uh, no tension on the 
key and uh, no spring on the shackle. So uh, that always makes the picks, you have to be a little bit more sensitive to them, to them when they don't have any uh, spring tension here. That's a really nice shiny lock. It's so shiny it might go in my collection just because it's shiny. I like shiny stuff. But then again, who doesn't? So let's go ahead and moving right along. If I can get this one open. Oh, hello. Aha. More medicos. And one of them has a key. And as you can tell, it's kind of like a Medico dimple lock. But that just does have the angled cut, so that brings a whole no, new level of difficulty. I wonder if the same key... Okay, same key works in both of them. That's really cool. Now, this is pretty damn awesome stuff right here, guys. I mean, three Medicos in one trade... Steel pennies. I got to make you some uh, rosewood handled picks more often, man. <laughs> this is pretty kick ass. Oh, uh, and then let's see what this one is. Ah, this is one of those little uh, federal padlocks that I just saw in one of his videos. Federal 30. He did say he was giving some of these away. And uh, still, really good bidding on the key. And it does work perfectly. All right. I wasn't uh, planning on picking one out of the box here, but I think I will on this little Federal here. Uh, let me grab a stool and uh, drag it over here. I'm standing up the whole time. All right. And I want to try this pick. Uh, it's kind of like a... Uh, just kind of a sweep, not a normal type of hook. I just kind of like the way it can uh, bend underneath uh, wild biddings. And for the tension, let's see if I got a tension wrench here that, yeah, that one looks like it'll fit it. Okay, you got to click out of three. And there we go. I mean, I really only think I've got a solid click out of pin one and pin three. Um, but then again, these little uh, these little locks like that that that's quite common. Um, really cool little lock though. Definitely not seen a federal of this size. All right. Anyway, steel pinnings. Thanks for this awesome awesome bunch of locks here, man. Um, I mean, I'm still kind of blown away by three Medicos in one trade. Um, these might be, uh, pickable sooner than this one might be. I don't really know, but, uh, this one kind of has a little bit of a hitch when the sidebar engages, but, uh, other, other than that, not bad. And it only turns 90 degrees, but, uh... Really, really cool stuff here. I mean, just piling it up on you guys. Still pinnings, thank you very much. Everyone else, stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.